My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. I'm Scott Odekirk. Join Speckles and I as we restore old boats, explore the Thousand Islands region of the St. Lawrence River, and generally just try to understand the magic of wooden boats. Well, here's my week in review. The signs of fall are here, and I've covered the Chris Craft up until the boat shed is ready. See here, we've got a nice old school canvas cover. Wish I had more of these. Don got it all started by spreading out the stone in the driveway area with his large equipment. Speckles helped out a bit. And then I finished off with the tractor doing the detail work. I spent a couple of days captaining dive boat and drew this image while waiting for divers to return to the surface. It was finally time, sadly, to pull the lineman out of the water. The wind was really strong and was blowing both the lineman and the drone around. I even found some time to play ball with speckles. Now right here, thank you. I thought I'd give you some more details on the engine possibilities for unbeknownst. I mentioned before I'm considering either the four-cylinder or V8 Chevy engine. The boat has a 14-inch diameter prop with a 15-inch pitch. I have the choice between a 1 to 1 or 1.52 to 1 ratio velvet drive transmission. Your thoughts are appreciated. Here are some other modification plans. I want to add a swim platform with a rotating ladder that I'm designing. The seating is going to change, the rear seat will face backwards, and I'm adding some jump seats on either side of the motor cover. I'll make a whole new dash with a wheel from a newer sea skiff. I also want the windshield to open for ventilation, but don't want the heavy metal trim I've seen on some before. I'm working on how to do this. I'm going to add drink holders and a rim around the motor cover for passenger use. Oh, well, now that I've shared with you the blasphemous things I'm thinking of doing to a Chris Craft, I better tell you my philosophy of boat restoration. I'm trying to create solid, dependable boats meant to be used and relied upon that look good, but may not be original. You have to remember, I wasn't there when the boat got this way. I'm just trying to save it. And now, this week's boat name origin. Well, if you Google rhubarb capital of the world, Sumner, Washington pops up. And I had originally wanted to name the boat when the guy finished with the woodwork called me and said, we're gonna, it's time to paint the name on the boat. I wanted to name it Patricia and then Patricia one and then I could get another boat Patricia two and another one Patricia three. And she said, I don't want my name on the back of a boat. So we decided, what are we gonna name it? So we wanted to keep it something that had something to do with the geography we come from. As you can tell, we come a long ways. And so we named it Rhubarb, and the, the lawyer friend that went with me to buy the boat in Omaha, Nebraska, when I told him the name, he said, perfect. He said, it's just like a shepherd, kind of sweet and kind of tart. So that's the story of the name. That's all for this week from the Wooden Boat Experience. Please like, share, subscribe, and check out our Patreon page.